My name is Pat Burns. Uh, I'm the head football coach at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. Uh, you know, I would encourage your participation in the UNO or in the Maverick Beef Club. It's an organization that was started and continued by uh, former players, but do have an awful lot of involvement with the community, do have an awful lot of involvement from non-former players and non-athletes that uh, it, it's very, very important to us to expand that uh, group of people so that we can continue to grow and get strong. I remember back in December of 1994 when I came and interviewed for the job. I, you know, can't never forget. We went to breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning with a group of guys called, and that was their their name at that time, the Beef Club, and they were kind of just in the organizational uh, period of the club. And I, I'll never forget sitting there and having coffee and and you know, talking to those guys and looking at the enthusiasm and the concerns they had in their mind about the direction of the program and some things that had been done prior to me coming were, uh, were exceptional in reference to getting it in the right direction. And I don't remember who said it, but one of the terms was, you know, it's about time that we get off the sideline and back on the field. Now, I don't mean literally, because uh, looking at those guys, there's not many of them that could go back and play today, but that's kind of how it started. You know, what it's done for us at the time is, is uh, enormous. Uh, I mean, I think back at taking our first trip here at UNO, we got off the bus and, you know, we had black and we had red and we had gray and, and we had all different types of uh, uh, uniforms. We had all different types of uh, travel sweats. And, you know, that group started putting some things together and ended up buying us and started, started looking like who we wanted to be. And, you know, it was just a matter of people coming back and making a commitment to a program that uh, wanted to see something different. And those guys at that time, and, and as it is today, they put their money where their mouth is. I think the good thing about building a program, whether it's a football program or whether, whether it's a booster club program, is what's it going to be like after we're all gone? And that's something that, that I think is going to be uh, uh, great for the history or for the future of this program is that the guys are starting to come back. I mean, we've got young guys that graduated two years ago. We've got guys that graduated, I'm not going to say how many years ago because it'll make them all seem real, real old, but uh, we've got them all involved. And that's, to me, it's not the money. I mean, obviously the money makes a difference in what we do, but it's the interest. It's the tradition that these people are developing and it's the long range future of our program. We've got a lot of things looming out there in our future that uh, uh, are going to have a tremendous impact on our football program and a tremendous impact on our athletic department. And, and we're going to need those guys more now than we ever did before because we're going to have to, we're kind of back where we were, you know, 14 years ago, kind of starting back over from the, uh, you know, and I, I'll never forget this because we'd sit around and those guys would bring up games of, of the North Dakota states, North Dakota, South Dakota state, Northern Colorado, and all those all those people are gone right now. So that type of connection is a little bit uh, a little bit fleeting for us right now. But now, as we forge forward and attempt to get into a new conference, that's going to regenerate that whole uh, level of interest. And and uh, quite honestly, we need those guys more now than we did at that time because of where we're at and where we want to go. We're trying to make a connection, and I say we are, the, the football program, the beef club, and the community. We're trying to make a connection with the community to kind of say that, hey, we're, we're Omaha's college football team, so we're putting an O on our helmet, and helmet colors are changing. Now, that's hard for me. That's very hard for me, especially when you, when you go through a certain amount of success, and I am not, if people know me, I'm not a guy that has a lot of glitter around me. I still like to you know, uh, roll my sleeves up and go to work and kind of look the way I did uh, 25 years ago, which is awful difficult to do because I was such a good looking guy in those days. But I think the biggest strength we have right now is probably our desire. These, these kids and these players want to get this thing done. And but things do change, people change, and we got to move forward. When I came here, uh, you know, like I said, in 1994, you, you know, we, we You'd go around town and look for a hat, a UNO hat or a UNO football hat, a, a t-shirt or something that signified your program. I look for a 
critter, you know, something that I could hang on my wall that would signify the Maverick. Well, I couldn't find one. I mean, it was almost to the point that every time I was in an airport, every time I was in a gift shop, every time I was going anywhere, I was looking for this picture of a critter. And some of our friends down in New Mexico heard this, and they ran this old bull in the corner and, and took a picture of him. And, and I, that's what I've got hanging on my wall. And he, and he has some tremendous horns, I mean, unbelievable. And I guess one of the things that I thought at that time is that someday we're going to be that type of program that's got the biggest horns on the block and you know we're not getting far uh, you know this past week i was uh, walking through a store and there's some kid walks by with a maverick football t-shirt on now again i didn't have a lot to do with that other maybe than the x's and o's sometimes of what we do but but that's the legacy that i think our beef club has started and, and is going to carry on for us that someday somebody's going to sell our t-shirts in their in their stores Getting guys out of here is, is, uh, is a big thing. Obviously, we want them to graduate and go on about their business, but then we want to have a, a ability to touch base and to keep these guys coming back. And to me, one of the only ways that you can do that is make sure that when they leave that we've done a good job with them. And I think that's probably the big thing that the Beef Club does is that these guys uh, that organize this thing, I think they had a long-range vision of what it took, but when a guy leaves our program, they want to come back. I mean, if you'd come to our uh, uh, season end ending banquet, you'd see that, that what these guys put on and the things that they do for the seniors that are leaving our program is tremendous. And, and that's, to me, how you get guys coming back is treat them good before they leave. I mean, obviously, we need we need the help from the beef club because as today's costs go up and things uh, you know escalate, we need to have certain things that make our program look a little bit different than someone else's program. Uh, you know, in the recruiting battles out there, it's you know you hate to say this, but it is sometimes a little bit of the important glitz of what you look at, and and these guys do that. Now, uh, there are several different ways to get involved in it. Obviously, they have a website that I think. Uh, has done an awful lot over the past couple years to keep people in touch and to give people an avenue to contribute and uh, then just word of mouth. I mean, they've got a golf tournament coming up here the 9th of June that, that uh, you know, it's surpassed all of our expectations and is continuing to grow because, you know, one of the ways that it grows, obviously, number one is to get it to where it's making money and they do a tremendous job of that. And then secondly, getting guys back, you know, guys that graduated in the 50s and 60s, and then, of course, guys that graduated in the 90s and the 2000s. That's very important. I would encourage everybody out there that uh, sees this, hears about this, or, or has any conversation about the Beef Club, I would encourage you to join because it's not only a, uh, you know, a financial contributor for us, but it's a, it's a great time. I mean, those guys have an awful lot of fun with their golf tournament. They have an awful lot of fun with their organizations, and, you know, they have a lot of fun on game day, and that's what it's all about.